when you compare these two photos, one from 2011, this one is from 2011, when Meghan Markle, she first got married with Trevor Engelson. And again, this is uh, from 2011. And the next one is from 2018 when she got married to Prince Harry. Now, there are some very, very, very disturbing signs I want to make mention of looking at these two pictures and doing some research on body language, posture. And this is what I want to share in this video. So if you're new to the channel, consider to subscribe because most of our viewers are not subscribed. So if you are one of them, consider to subscribe kindly. So let's take a look at these uh, photos. The first one, I want to give you some explanation about the first marriage or some details. So the first gown she is wearing, as you can see this one, the uh, strapless gown, it was uh, a gown that normally royal people, they do not wear. Okay, when you get married in a royal family, the bride would not wear this kind of gown. Okay, this is something they do not allow. Whether it is because they are a lot more conservative, whether it is because uh, it doesn't really make a, uh, you know, it doesn't create that gravitas to the occasion, or whether it is uh, coming across as someone who is not really sincere, regardless of what the reason is, this is not a dress that you will ever see any uh, in any royal wedding. It is not just for the British monarch, but for any royal uh, family you go anywhere in the world you will not see them wearing the the bride this kind of dress so right off the bat we can dismiss the any speculation people might have that well Meghan Markle she wanted to be serious um, and marry in a royal family because she knew you know this kind of dress wearing this kind of dress it's not gonna get her to the royal family so this is what she was wearing with a little v-shaped cutout of course as you can see the v-shaped cutout on the on the bodice and pleating okay so this is uh, the picture again it also had a rhinestone belt so this is the belt uh, that is being mentioned also i think it is being mentioned this belt was mentioned in the um in the media the the belt she was wearing this one um, had a little bit of jewelry on it, not too much. It looks like pretty normal to me, not too expensive. But, you know, she was somebody who swindled Trevor Ingleson. Let's be honest. She used his money. So, who knows, maybe this is very expensive. Uh, but to me, from outward appearance, I don't think it's a very expensive piece. However, the whole wedding, it did cost a lot of money. And, you know, you are marrying Meghan Markle, so she is not going to be letting you go of the hook she will get your money and this is why she is there um so this is what it is but you know the second uh picture or the second gown she's wearing it is so uh different it is complete contrast to the first one she is wearing this uh gown for her wedding of course, marrying in a royal family, the dress will be completely different. But in addition to talking about just the dress, I just also want to talk about something else. Okay. And these are some of the findings, observation I want to share with you. Number one, she was not acting normal. Unlike the first picture here, she is just acting normal. She is just going about her day. This is a big day, wedding day. And if you take a look at the facial expression, uh, not just this one, but also the other pictures from 2011, you will clearly see that Meghan Markle's facial expression was very casual. And this is how you should be. You should not be taking it too seriously to the point where you lose yourself and you start acting, right? And you start, you start faking. Here in this picture, as you can see from her body language, very relaxed and facial expression giving this casual vibe where we can clearly see that Trevor was marrying the girl um, he knew. Now, when it comes to the second one, it is not normal. The picture is anything but normal. Let's take a look at this one. And you have seen a lot of other pictures. A lot of you have actually commented, and this is not coming from me. A lot of you have commented and said that this is the face of a duper's delight. Somebody who duped this prince and now she is so delightful and it is easily noticeable. 
anybody who would look at these two faces, they will clearly see the difference, the duper's delight and the casual normal face. So these are the uh, main things that you would notice uh, when it comes to the facial expression. Now let's talk about something else, which is even more interesting. And that is that the, as I mentioned, the gown is not being worn by, this kind of gown is not being worn by any royal family bride, you know, when they get married. Whether you are outside the monarchy and you're getting married into the monarchy or not, it doesn't matter. You do not wear this kind of dress. So they, um, Meghan Markle, again, she did not have any plan <laughs> to um, marry a prince. Of course, she was thinking about this, but she did not have any plan. So when she got the opportunity, this little boy, Harry, approached her. She did all her research and she trapped him completely. And number three point, a bride who don't... This is okay. So she did not feel the need to fake it. Okay. I mean, this is way too casual. It is not just casual. If I say, well, she was just normal, I, I would be wrong. She was super, super casual. She had no fakeness. We don't see any fakeness coming or being exuberated from her. In fact, she, as you can even take a look at the glass, the way she's holding the glass, this is a person who is at ease. This is a person who is genuine with her expression, whether body language, whether it is facial expression, whether it is the voice itself, this is a person who is standing there just having the day and she is, you know, at least to me, it looks like she's enjoying the occasion. I do not know why she married or why Trevoring also married her. So this is the third point that she was not faking it. Unlike this picture, as you can clearly see, again, many of you have said that she was having this duper's delight and obvious thing about these pictures. Um, this, uh, you know, the wedding pictures that we have seen, one thing stands out all the time, which is that she was faking it until she made it. Even like during the wedding, she was not quite sure whether, <laughs> you know, Harry will um, flake on her or he would still go ahead and marry her. So she wanted to make sure that it's airtight, that Harry is not going anywhere. Now, the second one, as I compared the, with the first one, it is not normal. So this picture is not normal when this picture looks a lot normal and the person is at ease. Now, look at the face here. Uh, this is my third, another point. Like this is a person who is enjoying the moment who just bullied a kid. Okay, Princess Charlotte, we know she said, you are fat, you are this. I mean, can you imagine <laughs> like a little kid you're bullying? And this person managed to have a face like this with a lot of smile as if nothing happened. And this is the case with Meghan Markle all the time. She would do something horrible and then, you know, the next thing you know, she is absolutely acting absolutely normal, normal than anybody else. At least she's faking it, right? Here, I know she is not normal and you and I can tell, but a lot of people will be deceived because of this duplicitous person. And of course, the last point is this picture shows she is seeking attention, you know, um, kind of like giving a response to her critics who said, you could never go anywhere, you know, in Hollywood, never in life, in career. And they were right. So she is giving this kind of uh, smile, um, telling people that, hey, look at me, man, look at me where I am today. Uh, guys, this picture and that picture, this are even the same person, but totally, totally different pictures. Totally, totally different impression that we get from this too. Leave your comment. Let me know your opinion, your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video.